When you think about the rich and famous, you probably think of the love celebrities who made their money through one of very successful avenues. So how did Jake Paul slide into the number two spot of the Forbes list of highest paid YouTube stars in 2021? Jake Paul's empire has been built and is still being built on not one, but many money generating streams of income outside of YouTube. He's proved that if one thing doesn't work, move on to the next one. Try as many paths as you can, stick to what works and never stop trying for the next money generating opportunity. Enough is never enough. But before we dive into where he's now, let's look back into how Jake Paul became Jake Paul, the boxing YouTube star. If you're old enough, you might just remember the social media platform app called Vine. Launched in 2012, Vine was very similar to TikTok in which you created and posted short videos. Jake Paul was an early user of Vine when he joined the platform in 2013, causing him to blow up on the platform quickly at the young age of 16. Unlike the success of Jake Paul, Vine was shut down in 2016. However, by the time it did get shut down, Paul had amassed 5.3 million followers and 2 billion views on the app. Yes, that's billion with a B. Luckily for Paul in 2014, he'd smartly created his YouTube channel where he posted similar videos. I say smartly because this is a great lesson in never having all your followers on one single platform. If Jake only had his Vine account, he would have then had to start from the ground zero by building a new audience on another platform like on his YouTube channel. Both his Vine videos and his YouTube channel had similar videos. He became known as the guy who pranks, caused controversy and created his own hip hop music. After leaving Vine, he focused on his YouTube channel, but again, he didn't put all his eggs in one basket. Shortly after Vine crumbled in 2016, Jake built another audience, but this time through TV. Jake was young, and so was his audience, so he signed on with the Disney Channel, giving him another, much larger audience. Jake Paul's fame grew as he played the role of Dirkman on the Disney Channel series Blizzard Vark for two seasons. However, during these two seasons, he didn't just stick to the show, he continued to create and post videos on his YouTube channel and added additional streams of income to his growing empire. Jake was renting a house in LA and in 2017 he bought that house and branded it Team 10 House. In this house, he launched his own entertainment and media company called Teen Entertainment and Media Kingdom, or better known as Team Dong. With this, he focused on building teen entertainment brands and working with celebrities and media businesses. Using his success on YouTube, he added to his company of Team Dom, Team 10. The Team 10 talent label focused on finding YouTube talent and then helping those small stars become major YouTube stars and brands. Being still young and rowdy, Jake Paul became the subject of many controversies due to his behavior, including major social media blow-ups with his housemate Alisa and being charged with criminal trespass and unlawful assembly. The drama during Jake Paul's career may have caused him some subscribers to leave, but this drama also brought more followers to his channels as well. In fact, he was fine being in the headlines for controversy because even bad publicity was growing his audience. He attracted those who both hate and loved him, those who wanted him to win, and those who wanted him to lose. Everyone just wanted to see what he would do next. He used this as his marketing advantage and kept his audience baited, waiting for him to make the next career move. They were ready to watch. Chen Johnson, another person with a big audience, even made a docu-series about Jake Paul. Of course, Chen's views just meant even more views for Paul. Jake Paul kept with his history of adding more streams of income to his portfolio and adding more investors to his empire. Not all of his endeavors were instant winners or winners at all. One of those being his digital course he launched before digital courses were popular. His $7 course titled Edfluence turned out to be perceived as a scam for those who signed up and completely flopped. So what's next for Jake Paul? In 2018, Jake Paul and his brother started amateur boxing. While creating and releasing hip-hop music singles, Jake put his foot farther and farther into the world of boxing as he proved to be quite good at it, defeating numerous people in the world of amateur boxing. Jake Paul used his audience once again by starting a YouTube boxing contest while simultaneously working on his boxing career. As both grew, he fought more and more experienced fighters. Once again, Jake was smart about whom he chose to fight based on what type of hype and ultimately the size of audience 
the matches would win. He then started taking on fighters from other sports like MMA and even retired boxers. All of this created a bigger following for Jake Paul and his YouTube channel, which of course meant more money even for him. In 2021, he founded an anti-bullying organization called Boxing Bullies. This gave him some of the good street cred he had lost years back. In the same year, Paul then went on to partner with serial entrepreneur Jeffrey Wu. Together they created a venture capital brand. This fund enabled investors and even fans to raise money through a quarterly subscription model by utilizing AngelList's rolling funds platform. Also in that year, he funded most valuable promotions with his advisor. Yes, 2021 was a busy year for Jake Paul, but what year in his career hasn't been busy? His diligent work in constantly investing both his time and money in new ventures has more than paid off. In May 2022, Paul was featured on the Forbes list of the highest paid athletes. It was estimated by Forbes that Paul made $30 million from his three boxing bouts and the other various income streams he had going on in just one year. Paul has already founded another company, a sport media and mobile betting company. Paul claims to have already received $15 million in funding for his venture. In just under a decade and without a college degree, Jake Paul has built an empire that is clearly not slowing down. At the time of this video, Jake makes a minimum of 20 million a year and even 40 million during peak years. With so many job titles, from social media personality to an actor, boxer, singer, songwriter and even comedian, it's hard to leave out his biggest role of entrepreneur. Jake Paul's story is just beginning, but he's already taught us so much about how to accumulate great wealth. Jake only briefly had one stream of income, and as soon as he had two, he just kept multiplying it, never slowing down. We'll have to look out for what Jake Paul does next in his race to billionaire.